Wars. Right here, Wars. Right here. It's Amazon right here. Wars with the gods. I yep. Let's, play. Let's read what the book about. Damn, it won't give me nothing. Hold up. Uh, all it says is, hold on, let me click on this. See if I can get it. Some on it. Uh, I don't got nothing really on this book, but it do got like I don't got nothing but, like saying what it just says. It's uh about the wars of the gods. Hold on, right. Still to show you the back of the book. You might be able to flip the back of the book. Oh, it's gonna make me. No, you got to stop. Sign up. Shit, I ain't trying to do all this. Hold on, right, right. It says right a review. So, hey, okay, so we, we can write, we can be the first. another picture of the book that'll have a description of it. Yeah, just hit the second one out and click on. It's the second one out and click on. Hold on. Go ahead. The Florida, them islands down there. Okay, right here. This is where we get the major distress call to start forming a front in Florida from them. Okay. Right. Now, they being brought over as POWs. Okay. They're not from Africa. This is all documented in the history books. Yeah. So they're taking Islanders, bringing them over here. So we send a distress call clean across the land on the Wind Talker channel. It's all hands on deck. Go to Google. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You got these niggas, man. Hold up. Let's go to Google. All right. Go back. All right. What you got? Type in indigenous 500 years of war. I uh, got it. You want me to pull over? Go to images. All right. We gonna, it's going to be a crest in here about the 500 years of war. Okay, let me look at it. Okay. I see those uh, Han people too, you see. You be talking about. Okay. Uh, let's see. Native buffalo hunt use every part of the buffalo. Yeah, we ate the heart first. Hey, Rob. Who told you that? Huh? Who told you that? Well, at least I've seen that's on. I seen that these beans on. Uh, I might have just seen that on one of those uh, movies. <laughs> you know, it was a long time ago when I was a kid. Yeah, we didn't eat the heart first. Well, we ate the liver. What we what we ate first? <clears throat> the, the brain. Look, the liver and the heart was a, a, was for special purposes. Uh huh. For like only certain only certain people was allowed to eat the liver the liver and the heart. Yeah, but I'm not gonna get into that because that's that's a good side track because that's a, a rich part of the culture, the diet and the. Uh, Taking away of the bison uh-huh. is very critical in our oppression, and that's a whole another uh, a whole another show. I don't see it, uh, Elder. Yeah, I don't see it either. So I got Indigenous five hundred year war. Um, let's try this. Try uh, Native in place of Indigenous. All uh, right. Five hundred years we fought, man. That's a long ass time to fight. I think from 1492 to 1992 was how long? This might be it right here. We find the doors. The people who did don't care. I'd like to see that picture. Yeah, I'm gonna blow it up for you. I'm gonna blow it up for you, man. Hold up. All right, so you got oh shit, this right here fire. It's a fire picture right here. I'll be getting some fire pictures when I be on with you, bro. I'm telling you. I'm gonna see if I can find one I'm looking for in my oh, file. Ah, uh, let's see. Oh yeah, these some five pictures right here. Oh, let me say that I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say that picture and blow it up for you. Where they fighting these uh conquistadors? They said people that don't care. Oh yeah, that's about to get greasy up in here. Like we was uh, making them, they was running us off the cliff and shit, off of throwing us off waterfalls and shit. Here we go, right here. Let me blow it up. Damn. All right, hold up. 
the other way. All right, let me blow that joint up, man. And you're supposed to go over them stickers, too, though. You're supposed to go over them stickers, them uh, Mexican stickers. You already said you what you're going to say on it? Yeah, I ain't going to mess with them no more. That's... Okay, all right. You're talking about the stamps, right? Yeah, the stamps. All right, here we go right That's here. just to show you that the struggle the same everywhere we at. It's a picture of them coming to far. These Indians coming. They had boats already. Uh, the natives or whatever. Man, they got us thinking we ain't had boats, dog. We was traveling this bitch everywhere. That's what I was telling people, man. Look, like I say, yeah, look, they they even got the red coat on, like the, they probably took these niggas shit. That's how we was, you know. That's it, crazy. We do out of habit of kill a motherfucker and put on this bloody ass clothes. <laughs> that's our type of shit, man. I'm telling you, that's that's how niggas do, man. I'm telling you. Like take that and they wear it like a trophy. It's like a trophy. Like yeah, I conquered this nigga, man. You know what I'm saying? I got his chain. That's, like, that's why, like in the in New York area and some of them areas, they when they kill somebody, they were snatching a snatch their chain. Just as like a trophy, and it's also just the same thing as chopping their head off and wearing it on a necklace, like uh like they do when he came to Xerxes on a three hundred. He had all those kings' head around his uh on his chain, and he said, "Don't you bring the you bring the uh the kings of conquer the heads of conquer kings to my doorstep." And then you insult my queen. And nigga look back at then. What I like about Xerxes, he looked back at his wife before he kicked before he kicked him off. He looked back at his wife. She, she just gave that nigga the head nod. I said, Oh yeah, that's gangster. And then he, she, he kicked him. Nigga, boom. As soon as his wife said, get them niggas. You know what I'm saying? My wife, if my wife say get you nigga, it's a rap, nigga. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. If I look at her face and she say, get that nigga right there, oh man, it's over with for you, bro. Why why are you reenacting the Chris, the Chris Rock slap? Oh, the Chris Act Black? Oh, yeah. Pretty much just what you, you don't even realize you didn't act me, do you? Will Smith? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm you ain't acting that shit. That's how it is. But, I feel wheel on there. Anyway, so um, somebody mentioned that they're going through the uh, jurisdictional struggle in Jamaica with the Queen in real time. Y'all already won that shit. Uh -huh. Just like Barbados, that bitch is done with it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, mm -hmm. Hey, you want me to show like like this picture? You want me to this ain't a good picture? You want me to show that one I was talking about? You was talking about like this right here was uh like a picture of one when they making the uh the conquistadors, the natives fighting them at the uh look they got a dam or something right here. Hold on, let me get the one I was trying to find. Or I think it was uh it was the one that said yeah, let me save it. This one right here. Can you see that picture? Mm-hmm. Oh, let me blow it up again, man, because that joint. Okay. Where did it go? Oh, yeah, baby. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button. I don't think it's letting me save it, man. It's still jumping out. Oh, yeah. Maybe I can pull up in this one, though, look. Different type of image. Yeah, here you go, right here. All right, let's blow this up. All right, so this right here, a picture right here, uh, brother Rod. Like these these natives, they got leopard on. Oh shit. yeah, I wanted to see that. That's <laughs> they fight. They fight against these. These are the, uh, like the Spaniards, right? The conquistadors. But they I know when I see that gear, if that's who they okay. are. The, the type of helmet they got on and shit. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that, no, that's Spanish. Spanish. Cortez now. Uh, uh, they came yeah, you, the nice you don't notice the, the the um the jaguar with the bow shooting but bow and arrow at the right end. Yeah, right here. That's what I was looking at. What, what the hell is that? A leopard or a jaguar? It's a jaguar. Okay. <clears throat> Leopards from Africa. You're right. Hey, that's yeah, go ahead. That's, that's, that's another that's another uh key point right there, brother Rod. That certain animals are indigenous over here and they're not indigenous in Africa. That, that's a point that I be making too. Yeah, so it's buffalo, buffalo indigenous over here. Is eagles indigenous over here too? Not over in America. I mean, Africa is it eagles in Africa? There's eagles all over the world. Okay, different right. types of eagles, though. Okay, you yeah, got different right. types of bird to play too. You got eagles, falcons, and hawks is the main three. Then you got your nocturnal, like okay. the owls, and um, they got different strains of them too. 
I, I, I didn't mean to tell you too, man. You went you went off on that uh that tape on the Black Magic Channel, that City of the Guards tape. And y'all need to go check that tape out, man, on Black Magic Channel that uh Rod Hayes did the other night, man. I, I listened to that tape today. I said, man, Rod really went over a lot of niggas' head in that tape. They really just just listening to him, just eating their popcorn, like they just talking, man. You, you go listen to that tape there, you got a lot of you dropped a lot of Jews in that tape. That uh tape there on the Black Magic Channel. Yeah, it was like uh one of the sisters called me out and asked me why I didn't translate the name of the pyramid to to uh uh Tiahunaka. Uh-huh. Uh huh. You know, because it means to, uh, sacred to Huli. Uh huh. I think you said that on the tape though. Some you was talking about Tahuti. Yeah, I didn't go into the name. I went into the place what the place was, but the name actually says the sacred place of Tahuti. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah, I need to go check that tape out, man. It's a lot of Jews in that tape. And I, and I can just tell how the, the chats was that people, a lot of that stuff was going on people's head. It was just like it being entertained, but I was listening for the next, my next clue to put this shit together. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Listening for my next clue. But go ahead, go ahead. I ain't mean to hold you up, though. Go ahead, go ahead. No, you good, you good. We, 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 we building. We building. So when, when they fight, when we fight these seminal wars, right? Mm -hmm. We didn't have a problem with getting eaten by alligators back then. Uh huh. Uh huh. We had lived so close with them that we would be able to use them as stepping stools to run across the water. Mm -hmm. Right. Fine, so right. you remember the story they tell us about the enemy feeding our babies to the crocodiles? Uh huh. That was called crocodile baiting to condition them to eat human flesh because they wouldn't eat us. Yeah. And right. they, but they would attack the enemy. Uh huh. Uh huh. That's right. If you ride through Florida, you see all those charred sticks or, or tree stumps sticking out of the uh, ocean. Yeah, that's here. right. I, yeah, I see that a lot. Go ahead. That's the marshlands. Those trees used to be so fucking thick down there. They burned them all down because they couldn't get in there to get at us. And we was tearing their ass up from the treetops and from the goddamn roots. Yeah, no. We was we was kicking their ass. And that's what makes real uh, warfare. Yeah. Look, you know, you know something? Hey, to add to what you're saying, to build on what you're saying, if you go watch the movie The Patriots, right? And that the fighting style that they use to, be the, to get them British off of them, they learned that from us, from the from the Seminole Wars. Remember how they was hiding, hiding in the bushes, hiding in the trees, they'd be hiding in the tunnels, like you said. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and then they are they are, they are ambush we, we ambushed the shit they didn't know nothing about that they didn't know nothing about being the ambushing niggas we started that shit yep we was fucking their ass up. yeah because we had a small we, we were using small numbers to fight these the larger numbers all these more what they would call it organized but we really were more, more organized than them we were more and we knew the terrain of the land we, we knew mm -hmm. the layout of the land you know what i'm saying because it's our shit yep mm-hmm So they know they know uh when they came in up jacking with us, 10, 10 natives can take out a whole army. They'll take like 15 niggas shooting at them. You know, hey, you know, because uh if you go back and watch that movie, Rosewood, right? And uh the, the nigga, uh I forget the dude's name, they played that big dude, right? That was playing the guy that it was after. He mm -hmm. went, he had two forty fives fully loaded, right? Hey, the white boys chased him off into the woods, right? Then he, he ran certain a certain amount of yards in there. And then he turned around and just pulled his guns out. And then when they came in there, he just unloaded both clip both guns on them. They ran off out the woods. They went back and told the uh the, the county sheriff, hey man, 15 niggas just jumped us in the woods. And it really was just one dude with 245s. So we because so we did shit like that. Like we knew how to take on a big ass uh like a big ass because that dude there, he definitely had to be connected with the niggas we was just talking about, the Geechee niggas. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. How big he is, how he look. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. he, and then, what high nigga back then going to town to town riding a horse and he got 245s. They didn't even have that type of guns in the 60s. You know, it's 1960s. They had revolvers and, and uh, shotguns. That's most of the nigga had. So, how that nigga get 45s way back then? You know what I'm saying? To let mm -hmm. somebody have it. You know what I'm saying? And he got the bullets for that joint. You got to have you get to have some money, man. I'll be a high dollar soldier to have. That them type of nickel plated 45s back doing that's like with the 1800 window of Rosewood, like the early, it's like it was before 60s, before the 60s. Then it started getting oozes and shit until the, the uh, the Frank, the Rick Ross uh, at favorite phase when it's when the, the, the alphabet boys start pumping. Well, really, the 80s. it's really the 80s, the 80s is when we really started getting heavy firepower. 
Yeah, right. So how that nigga get two forty fives back in that time? Man? I'm sending like, you some more uh right, send, it to me. send it to me. Okay, that ain't what I was looking for, but since they came up, I figured I'd send them and make a part okay. of the discussion. Okay. Let's get back on the track. Okay, okay so good. now we know they burned the trees down, chopped trees down throughout Florida. You can still see, riding through Florida, you can still see the burnt charred remains of many of the trees that still have stumps. Uh-huh. Right? You can see the old bridges that deteriorated that was being used before the new bridges we own now. They show all of that stuff is still there. Uh-huh. Right? Uh-huh. So once we got done whooping their ass, we dispersed because of the Conjure War. The Conjure War was the 200 years, see if you can remember, which side of the water you from, motherfucker. Right. Remember? Yep. If you can remember your ancestry, who came in with fezes, who came in with feathers? Yeah, with feathers up. And can you distinguish the difference in the two? The problem was is somebody couldn't remember who the fuck they was, and they were supposed to conquer us, but they couldn't remember who the fuck they was, so they put the feathers on and thought they was us. Yeah. Hey, the Boston Tea Party. They dressed like they dressed with the feathers. The niggas with the feds dressed up with feathers to stop uh, Benjamin Banneker. At least that's what they said. We don't remember all that though. Yeah. But Benjamin Banneker is the one who was the translator for Lewis and Clark. Big B and Bay. That's him. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, he also known as um son of York. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so as long as we know what we know. Yeah, we got him. We got him. We, we and we know him. the first motherfucker he's a, he's that a, he's killed. A he's a sellout. Bible says well, he's a sellout. The first one that they uh killed for the blood to write the new constitution in was Crispus Atticus. Mm -hmm. Why they got to keep telling you the nigga died first? Right. And they got to keep telling you that the nigga yeah. died first. Yeah. No, he didn't die. They murdered him and wrote the constitution in his blood because there's a universal law. They say that the blood of the righteous shall not be spilled in vain, which binds us to that contract because it's our chief's blood man bro so we gonna follow all the rules and they gonna break them because they don't give a fuck about our chief exactly oh I got, i'm gonna slide down pictures right now mm -hmm. so we didn't show them where the different tribes amalgamated in florida became called seminoles by the enemy but the directors of the Seminole Wars was Gullah Chiefs. Mm -hmm. And the Gullah Chiefs sent the distress call out. It went as far away as Tongan Islands, the Samoan Islands, Hawaii, Alaska, all sent soldiers to fight in the Seminole Wars. And this is why uh, in Pueblo, Colorado, the Pueblo villages was empty. Mm -hmm. They was all fighting in the war. That's why they kept saying it was an admixture a tribes, because we was all mixed together. Mm -hmm. We don't always be in each other business, but when it's something that threatens all of us, our nature is the instructions from Big Mama. Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck how y'all get along. Don't let no outsiders come in here and kick your ass. Yeah. Straight up. I'm with y'all better. Y'all can fight when it's over with amongst each other, but right now y'all gotta get rid of these motherfuckers that don't belong. Mm -hmm. I'm with it. I'm with that, Big Mama. Did that say 83% of all true Americans with African ancestry have Native American blood? How in the fuck is that possible? Right. That's got to be a paper genocide. And then we got to look at how long has Africa been called Africa? Exactly. Right? Because it wasn't always called Africa. So where was they coming from? Exactly. If they were coming from Africa before it was called Africa. I be asking too many of them little simple ass questions. Same like that. damn land. That's where they're coming from. Same people. Same everybody. Mm -hmm. Next picture. All right. Hey, Pot Nine Black say everything in the U.S. The land didn't break up. They broke up your brain in the fractal. That's <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a healthy way to look at it. 
Damn sure it is. Yep, Chiefs are designated by most loved, most respected, and it don't matter what gender they is. All of the islands was already fighting when we got the message to form the barrier. With It also told us about the infiltrators, too. But all of the islands was already um, engaged in the conflict from 1492 to 1700. The islands in South America was already fighting the conquistadors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We didn't know in, the, in this part of the land, we didn't know what's going on until we got the message from the other parts of the land. Makari Maurice Kinsey said they stole us from here. Goddamn right, but we ain't never left, so we always been here. That's right. That's why I say we've been here so long, we had to come here before here because we had to make here be a place. Yeah, that's right. And Baba said it in the uh, Let's Hit the Record Straight book. Look, look at what that say. The almost total extinction of the Negroes during the time of the who conquest? The uh, okay, conquest, Spanish uh, conquest. And 